Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William are going on a tour of the Caribbean in early 2022 and according to a royal expert, the trip is an attempt to forestall Republican movements. The Queen is head of state in the UK and several other countries abroad. The Queen is also the head of the Commonwealth, so the monarchy has strong links to many countries around the globe. Many of these countries will be visited by members of the royal family this year to mark the Platinum Jubilee, with Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge expected to visit Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas from March 19 to 26. William and Kate wrote a personal message on their Twitter account after the news broke this week expressing that they were so excited for their trip next month. The couple wrote, We are so excited to visit Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas next month as we mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. We can't wait to meet people in all three countries, celebrate local cultures and understand more about innovative work being done across communities. The message was signed off with WC. In addition to Kate and William's tour, Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall will visit the Republic of Ireland from March 23 to 25, while Princess Anne will visit Papua New Guinea from April 11 to 13. Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex will also visit Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines from April 22 to 28. The Queen is currently head of state in many nations the royals will visit on tour this year. And according to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams, the tours have been planned in the hope of forestalling Republican movements. Following Buckingham Palace's announcement of the planned royal tours, Mr Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, This is an excellent plan which will commemorate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in four Caribbean nations, all of which recognize the Queen as head of state, early in the year. The Earl and Countess of Wessex are ideal for this role. They both enjoy the Queen's confidence and have handled their royal roles well for many years. As the Cambridges also head to the Caribbean in the spring, there is obviously the hope of forestalling Republican movements. Barbados recently became a republic but had no referendum, which was surprising. St. Vincent and the Grenadines voted to keep the links with the Crown in 2009 and a future plebiscite is unlikely. The publicity surrounding these visits will highlight the many benefits of the links with the world's most famous monarchy. During the Queen's reign, several countries have dropped the monarch as their head of state, including Mauritius, Dominica, Trinidad and Tobago and Guyana. The most recent nation to remove the Queen as their head of state was Barbados in 2021. The Queen's eldest son and heir apparent, Prince Charles, visited Barbados last year as it marked its transition to a republic under its newly elected president, Sandra Mason.